I want to do what's right for them, and maybe sometimes I Now, will you I stop have... talking like that? Why, you're prettier than you ever was. I almost told that to the whole bunch down at the party tonight. I almost said, you ought to see my bride that's waiting home for me tonight. And you was waiting, Katie. That was nice. Awful nice. It was just like it used to be. You told about the party awful nice tonight, Johnny. I should have waited up more often, I guess. Oh, it ain't your fault, working hard like you do. You know something? I wish I could have got you the rest of that set when, when we was married. The guy said it came all the way from Spain. What else was in that set, Johnny? You ain't told me for a long time. Two little side combs and a locket on a chain. And a bracelet, you said? Oh, there's no use talking. Someday I'm going to look that guy up and get you the rest of that set. Oh, well, that's nice, Johnny, but I don't... No, there's no buts about it. I mean it. Things are going to be different around here. You ain't going to be working hard like you, like you are now. I don't mind the work, Johnny. No, sir, I ain't going to stand for it. Look at them pretty hands. They ain't got no business being in the water all the time. I'm going to change a lot of things around here. I'm going to cut out the drinking, too. And just to prove it to you, here's my tip money. Don't keep your tips, Johnny. Take all a man's money. It ain't right. And I'm going to keep Adam down at the union headquarters and make him get me some jobs. Yes, sir, tonight's the beginning of something new. Oh, you believe me, don't you, Katie? Yeah, Johnny, yeah, sure I do. And I'll be singing all over Brooklyn, and maybe Manhattan, too. Have you heard Johnny Nolan sing, they'll say? And, and oh, then maybe someday... Johnny, maybe... stop it! Stop it! Stop! Talking. You ain't got a chance. Who are we trying to kid? Yeah. Sure, you're right. Who am I trying to kid? Johnny, I gotta tell you something. Maybe it ain't the right time, and maybe it is. The reason I moved us up here... We're gonna have a baby, Johnny. That's why I've been scrimping so much and trying so hard to say. Oh, that's... Well, I I'm awful glad, Katie. If you are... There's a lot we got to think about, Johnny. Oh, I know, but we'll make out. Maybe things will be different. Uh, and we'll have one to grow up with all over again. I got things all figured out. I ought to be able to work until, well, anyway, April. And then Francie will have to leave school and take out her working paper. She's young, but with what she can make, we ought to be able to make out. Oh, and but I... we can't do that, Katie. I don't like it any better than you do, Johnny, but I thought and I thought, and there ain't no other way. But... And Johnny, you gotta help with something. She listens to you. You gotta quit getting her so all excited about her school and... But why can't it be Neely? He's the boy and he don't care like she does. Well, maybe that's why. Maybe it'll do her good to get out in the world and... Learn something, learn how to take care of herself, learn something practical while she's young. She's got to learn someday. Well, uh, there must be another way. Uh, uh, oh, I, I don't know. I, I, I'll try and swing anything. I'll do anything. We can't count on that, Johnny. Don't look at me like that, Johnny. It ain't my fault. Well, it ain't your fault either, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, one member of the Nolan family will get to graduate and she come close. That's something. You better put out the light and let's get some rest. I thought you'd be asleep, Prima Donna. Uh-uh. I've been thinking. I, I might be going to be a writer. I've just about decided. <laughs> I, I knew you when you was going to be a lady fireman. Don't joke, Papa. I'm serious. All right, baby. All I meant was... Uh, maybe it's better not to get your heart set on, on just one thing. In case something happens, or... She said... Miss McDonough, I mean. She said maybe I could be. She said I have... 
imagination. Do you think I have, Papa? Oh, sure you have, baby. Them compositions of yours are sure fine, but... She said I'd have to work hard. She said imagination wasn't any good if... if you were just a pipe dreamer about it. You didn't help anybody that way. Not even yourself, she said. Yeah, I see. A pipe dreamer. I'm not putting it good like she did. I wish you could have heard her. She was wonderful. Forever and ever, I'll be glad you helped me go to that school, Papa. You kind of like that school, don't you, baby? Yes. Oh, yes. And she said lots more. I've been trying to remember. She said even if you have imagination, it's better to write about the things you know about so they'll be true. And... and the way things are. Only... Only what, baby? Papa, the people in the hall when we brought up the tree, the look on their faces, all friendly and nice. Why can't people be like that all the time? Not just on Christmas. Well, I, I guess it's because... Well, I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's because Christmas is like people really are, and the other part ain't true. And with that imagination of yours, if you think about it hard enough, you know, like it ought to be. But when that... you get to thinking, Pop, the people in stories, they don't just live happily ever after, do they? No, baby, but... But the trouble is, it doesn't feel good when you think about things like that. I, I mean, like they really are. You better stick out your tongue, Prima Donna. Oh, it's just like I thought. You got a bad case, a very bad case. Case of what, Papa? A very bad case of growing up. <laughs> That's all it is. Oh, it ain't fun sometimes, but don't you be afraid. I don't want you should ever be afraid. You're so nice, Papa. I guess it's better if you don't just stay young all your life. It'll be much nicer growing up. Yeah. When you get to see things like they really are. Coming to bed, Johnny? No, I'm going to take a little walk. Don't start drinking. Not tonight, Johnny. I won't, Katie. I won't. <laughs> 